what is up you guys thank you so much for being a part of my channel i really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys y'all we need to give a big thank you to heather for sending us a new tarot deck i said tarot deck an oracle deck she sent us the sword of light oracle we are going to be using that in this reading today what is up you guys thank you so much for being a part of my channel i really and truly appreciate each and every one of you we are definitely about to get into this mercury retrograde energy because I feel like I should have already gone ahead and looked into it for myself specifically. Because I feel like every if I'm going to get hit by a retrograde, if I'm going to get hit, I always feel like I get hit first before y'all. I guess I get hit first so I can warn you. But I'm going to tell you how it got me. I'm going to tell you how it got me already. Okay, so... I do this thing where I set my stuff on auto pay, which is probably of the devil, but my mind, I do so many things in a day and I stay on top of so much that I have a hard time, you know, keeping up with everything, right? So, I don't know. I guess I got like, I got way too excited. I don't know. I got excited and I get I'm easily excitable, I guess. So, I ended up paying one of my bills that is already on auto pay and it's like a big bill right so it came out twice and I'm over here looking at my money like who stole from me what is this like you know what I mean and I was just like how did they double charge me why would they have done that oh I have overlooked that and that's a big that's a that's a big one okay like when you when you see a, a, a stack missing, you you know, somebody, you, look, I, I heard uh, Tyler's Tarot in here. Uh, somebody about to come up missing, okay? <laughs> play with your mama, don't play with me, okay? So, some of y'all might need to stay on top of y'all's finances, okay, for the uh, retrograde season. But I am going to look specifically for y'all, but y'all better pay attention. Don't just be, you know, jumping into the first, you know, opportunity because you're super excited. You want to sign on the dotted line. You want to do all these things. You've got all these ideas. Slow down. Take your time. Okay. All right. Let's see what it is that you can expect. What to expect for this retrograde season. What can you expect during this retrograde season? Okay plans stop okay why is this like a sit down having a sit down conversation with somebody for some of you you may actually have to um contact i keep hearing contact the officials and i don't like that that sounds very serious and that looks kind of serious okay um i got drawn into a heart so there may be something that is close to your heart, close to your emotions, close to your home that you may be finding out during this retro grade season. Mama said retro season. Okay. Um, I feel like there is something that is needing to be addressed. Okay. This is going to catch you off guard. I feel like there may be somebody here who is really actually wanting to talk to you. This is someone here who has been harboring certain feelings of resentment towards you. Um, some of you may not have even been completely and totally aware of this, but there's somebody here is going to be reaching out, wanting to speak on, um, somebody's going to be wanting to speak on this. Somebody's going to be wanting to come in and say some things that are going to catch you by surprise. What, what's being brought up? What is this? This is like uncomfortable conversations at the table, like at a house. This could be with the family. For some of you, if you are doing any kind of meeting up with your relatives, close relatives, your family members, there might be some secrets. This is also giving family secrets being brought um, out into the open while everybody's sitting here eating. It's like, wow, is this the right time to talk about this, Brenda? Okay, okay, we've got death. This could be a Scorpio. We've got Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and then Nine of Swords. Okay. This is a heavy topic of discussion that's being brought up amongst a family during this retrograde season. Okay. I feel like there may have been some kind of may have been some kind of sneaky suspicion about certain activities that have been going on. Um, I feel like there may be some confirmations that are coming out, but there's something that is going to have to be addressed. It's almost like there's a consequence that comes with 
a specific secret or withholding something from the family. And it's like needing to inform the family before they find out um, by other means. Okay, and I heard by any means necessary. What is, why, why did I hear that? By any means necessary. Okay, so something is needing to be closed out, completed by any means necessary. And I feel like there are specific talks that are needing to be had before this transition can happen. I feel like there's somebody here who is having sleepless nights, um, who's legitimately panicking. This is also anxiety, having ang anxiety attacks, not being able to sleep because they know that they've got to come clean or they know that they've got to speak up on a specific thing that they're about to do. Okay, what is this? Or what is it what, they, what they're about to do or what they've done? Not judgment. Okay, so for some of you, there may be um, a touchy family conversation taking place this retrograde season about something that was done in the dark being brought to light and they want to be the first ones to tell the family or, yeah, um, tell them because it's something that's already been done. It's something that can't be undone. It's something that can't be unseen. This could be something that is either going to be made very public. I heard we, you make it public, we make it publicer. So this could be something that is being heavily talked about. All right. Um, I feel like there's somebody here who feels like they need to inform somebody of this before it comes out. Oh my gosh, this is medical. This is medical. There is medical information that is going to be resurfacing. Oh my goodness. In the month of April, May, retrograde season. Okay. And there may have to, like, uh, this is almost like, oh God, I didn't want to go down this way. This is. I don't want to say leaked medical information, but there's like something going on where it's like it's going to come out one way or the other. This could definitely be in regards to a pregnancy because I'm not seeing liquor on the table, y'all. I'm seeing like cups. I feel like there may have been a surprise pregnancy um, that has happened. And then there's somebody here who is having to, you know, it's like getting to the point where somebody's either showing or they can't keep covering up or they can't keep hiding it. Um, I definitely see Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius out here. Um, I feel like this is something that's already, and look, heavy on the Scorpio. This is like, not trying to tell your mom, not trying to have this conversation because you know they expect more from you. I feel like there's somebody here panicking about not meeting the family's expectations. Oh, y'all. This retrograde season, there may be something coming up about someone who has gotten their girlfriend pregnant. And this girlfriend is looking like they're either a different ethnicity and the family that they are about to kind of join together with this child. They are, <laughs> they're like, why would you bring this girl back to the house? Why would you do this? How could you do this? Like, they're clearly, why would you, like, I don't know. This is kind of giving racism, actually. All right, so for some of you um, whose children are of child-bearing age, um, I feel like there may be a situation going on where somebody's about to have a biracial grandbaby. Okay, um, if not that, this could be you, your situation. I feel like this retrograde season, that something's going to be coming out about this. Um, with the medical being right there, I feel like this is something, somebody's worst nightmare is having to kind of speak on the situation to close out the cycle. And that's really weird that we keep hearing that beeping in the background. That's my safe, my safe keeps going off okay so i feel like there may be somebody here who might have been a part of a will okay or a part of like inheritance of some sort they may be nervous dreading talking about this pregnancy or that they're pregnant before they're married or there may be something there's something that is not similar like the backgrounds are different people having different moral codes moral compasses 
um, ethnicities, religions. I feel like there's somebody freaking out about having to tell their parents about something because they may be finding out that they're going to be excommunicated or there's something about missing out on some kind of finances. Like I'm telling you, my safe in the back keeps beeping. So it's like there's somebody here who is freaking out about being ex out of a family dynamic or that their family is going to disown them for whatever this is that they've just recently entered into. I feel like it's something that they did, but they were covering it up. They weren't speaking on it. This is also giving somebody having like a fetish for something outside of their race. Okay. Um, look, Latina, black, white, whatever. Like, I feel like there's somebody here who is dreading, um, being honest with the family about a situation. All right. Um, and if this is not that, this is somebody having to come clean to the family about being same sex or like, I don't even want to say it like that. That was very rude. Like somebody may have, have a medical diagnosis that's coming back. And it may be coming back after they've recently said something about being same sex or they've just gotten this person pregnant. There's something going on to where it's going to have to be discussed. I don't know if this is because somebody's going to need somebody to pay for certain medications because of this. But that's kind of the route that they're taking me. Like there's going to have to be a plan set in action. Okay. For some of you, if you have dealt with a situation where maybe you weren't completely clear of why you your plans might have fallen through with a specific person you may be finding out why in this retrograde season uh and it's something in regards to different backgrounds take backgrounds for whatever you want it to be because at this point i've seen i feel like they've just showed me all of it Okay, this is somebody having to come clean to the family and they're worried about getting cut off. Okay, somebody's really worried about the cut off. Like, and it looks like it would be an inheritance through the mother's side of the family. Okay. There's some kind of information coming back about, uh, back about that during this uh, season. Okay. I'm going to see how it's going to affect you. How will this information...